All right, guys, I'm back here at the Connecticut house, and today I am here to show you um, some updates that have been done to the house uh, since the last video. Um, this is going to be just a one-part video. Um, I'm not going to do a slow walkthrough like I did last time. I'm just going to mostly show the parts that have been updated since then. Um, but if you're new to this channel, what I will do is um, I'll link the uh, slow walkthrough videos in the video description so you can check that out if you haven't seen them before. All right, so let's head up and uh, see what we got. Uh, the uh, long guys were here just today. So, that's all taken care of. Um, if, you know, if you look along the uh, front lawn here, there's a couple of rows of plants. I think my mom did those. You can see those. And there's some, uh, there's some, what do you call it, uh, um, gravel, whatever, along these rocks here, which finishes it off really nice. And along here on the side of the driveway. And got a couple of individual ones over here. Okay, and along the front walkway, this is finally finished, and uh, what's nice is um, the mulching really finishes it off well, and uh, the plants are nice, uh, have a good amount of space in between, so if they grow bigger over the years, we'll keep them trimmed, but if they grow bigger over the years, there's still plenty of space for them. Walk along here. Finishes off very nicely compared to what it used to be. Uh, that hose spigot was actually just recently put on. It was supposed to be originally built with the house. And uh, what happened was they drilled the hole for it in the basement, but then they just put the stone over it. But thankfully, they took care of it, and the builders paid for that, not us. So uh, my mom finally got her hose spigot that she wanted. And I'll show you how that was tapped into when we get to the basement. But yeah, here's all the plants along here. And over here in front of the living room, more plants with mulch. And um, over here, some guys have been doing some more grading work. Um, it was kind of low before. They've since raised it up. And um, so the water goes away from the property more. And uh, the, um, the drain pipes now go in the ground like they should. And of course, now that I'm out here, the wind's well, of course. Hopefully it's not making too much noise like last time. And over here, they had to raise up uh, the area around the basement window. I was concerned at first because I thought that maybe this what they would have to raise up would block more light from the window, but it didn't, didn't do that in the slightest bit. So you still got a ton of light down there like you did before, and it came out great. So um, nothing really tough to in the back area, just some more dirt. And um, we do have uh, there's some just some guys doing some work. Um, we do have a lot of uh, we do have a lot of uh, weeds back there, but um, we're actually going to keep those weeds for now because um, you can see they've grown since I was last back here. But uh, we're going to keep those for the time being, just because they um, they help absorb water. So for the t just for now, we're going to keep them. There's a radon exhaust fan. You remember that? Okay. And the sprinkler pipe. Maybe you saw that last time. And oh yeah, we planted this tree over here, and some plants around it. Adds a little bit more to the front yard. Pretty good. And a couple of other rose, uh, rose plants over here. See, very nice. This is the, like that ledge I told you about. Okay. And my mom planted a small rhododendron next to the air conditioners, which I'll show you, which I'll show you now. Let's see, I, there's the, um, there's my mom's car, the, uh, that's the Ford Edge I told you about when I got that traffic light. There's another gray hose with a pretty fancy nozzle attached to it, and uh, yeah, there's a little, little rhododendron. And this finishes off the area very nice, you got the air conditioners right here, uh, the second floor one is going right now, and uh, nothing here, but eventually there will be, and um, yeah, so over here. Uh, we just put this mulch here and the little rhododendron. And yeah, it finishes off this area very nice. So um, that came out great. Nothing's really changed in the garage. Eventually um, there will be. I'll eventually make, make a video on that. Okay, now let's go inside through the garage. And my mom's probably going to be in the kitchen on, on the laptop. So let's go inside. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, well, in a second. And my mom's already asking me to do stuff. <laughs> right, Mom? Oh, I didn't realize. Hello? <laughs> I didn't realize turkey. And I'm just, uh, just to change up my glasses here. There we go. <laughs> And in this part of the uh, mudroom, you can see we got some more things up on the walls. Um, this was here last time, I remember. We got this um, bulletin board here, so if my nieces ever want to leave something here, uh, like a drawing or, you know, things like that, we can keep them up there. Now here's some, here's some cats you may remember. Um, this here is uh, Stripes, that one's Whiskers, and that's Lady, um, and that's uh, Bella, and that's Marco. You've told them about them before. Um, let's see, laundry room, no, nothing's really, nothing's really changed in here. Just got some more stuff to bring around. Let's see. Okay, kitchen, um, just some stuff, more stuff along the window. No major changes here just yet. Um, we do have some more things on the, on the walls. Pretty good. Nothing's really changed in the dining room yet. We have this one right here. Okay, and in the sunroom, we got some more pictures up there, you can see. Oh yeah, like I told you last time, uh, this area rug is the one that used to be in the family room, but we changed it up for a larger one. I'll show that to you now. Yeah, see, this comes out much better. It covers the sitting area a lot more. It doesn't cover too much of the wood floor. And, you know, when you sit on the couch, your feet are on a rug, which is really nice. And over here are some curtains that my mom and I uh, put up. Uh, they came out very, very nice. And they don't block the light at all, which is great. All right. And let's see, we have a little, little dish right here. And this is kind of cute. This is, um, uh, you got a reflection. That's a picture of my brother, and that is a picture of me when I was. How old was I in that picture? Mom? How old was I in this picture? Like Both you and John, six months. Six months. Now there we are, six months old. <laughs> a little uh, family picture for you. Okay, so the family room, yeah, we did that. All right, let's, um, let's, uh, oh yeah, and uh, Jay, I mentioned this to you before, but um, Jay told me about um, some chair pads I could get and put them on the floor, uh, put them on the chairs to help them slide on the area rug better. And I gotta tell you, the difference is night and day. I did four of the eight chairs because that's all that Walmart had at the time, they, they were out, but um, if you notice, I'll try to pull this chair back. This one I didn't do. Hey, look at that, the chair just wants to fall backwards, okay? Now it's if I, wonderful, it really slides. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. and, um, and then we pull this one back. Look at that, this thing just glides like nothing. Can't thank you enough, Jay. That was one of the best things you suggested for these chairs. Absolutely. Okay, so family pictures here. Um, I showed you the larger area rug, all of that. Oh yes, the grandfather clock. I, I had mentioned that um, this was going to be delivered here, and here it is. Went very well, put the, uh, put the pendulum back on, the weights. Uh, some of the chime rods need to be moved a little bit. I think they, I think they, um, they may have bent just a little bit when they were tied together during sh for shipping, so we just gotta move them back a little bit, but for the most part, the clock chime's fine. Just there's a couple of notes that don't sound, don't really sound very well, so just gotta fix that. But we will when the time comes to it. Um, study, nothing's changed in here yet. And the clock is set to the Whittington chime, I don't know if I ever told you that. Very nice clock. Um, Yes, and in the living room, uh, here's the piano. I told you that this was going to be delivered here eventually. And here it is. In fact, it was just tuned and had some repair work done to it, so it's in perfect shape. Now I wanna show you something kinda of cool here. Uh, this is a picture that my mom made back in the 1970s. Um, what is it called again? Uh, needlepoint and Yeah, needlepoint and what's the other one? Pebbit? Pebbit? Oh, needlepoint and pettit point is what it's called. Um, it's a picture she made in the 1970s, okay? Now, mind you, this was made in the 1970s. Look at this picture very carefully. That almost looks like a selfie, doesn't it? <laughs> you believe that? So that she may have had something going in the 1970s, who knows? <laughs> kind of funny when you think about that. 
And like I said, not much has changed in the dining room, but we just got some boxes for the display cabinets. The stuff will go in there. Um, in the first floor master bedroom, uh, we recently put down the area rug, and just that has really calmed down the echoing in here. You may remember this from last time. And uh, very nice soft rug, very comfortable to walk into. Very nice. Or onto, I should say. And in the bathroom, they just got some, um, I think this is teal um, rugs for the shower, for the um, sinks. And yeah, and I, I fixed that back plate on the shower head. I told you about that. That's all fixed now. Okay, that's about it in here. And let's go down to the basement. Well, that one shouldn't be too, too long. And here's a, my clean laundry that I did today. All right, let's head down here. Get the, um, Sounds like the dehumidifier is running. Okay, so uh, not, nothing visibly here to show yet, but we did get the thing from the electrician. He's gonna put outlets here for the future workbench and an outlet over here for the dehumidifier's future location. There it is right now, just running beautifully. Um, yes, we had a sump pump installed. I'll show that to you. Um, and uh, yeah, so the sump pump is there. It, uh, the water gets discharged there and out the side and it plugs right into that receptacle right there. CO detector is still at zero, that's very good. And uh, yes, the water heater, I did some more um, pipe insulation work, as you can see. Uh, this is a lot of work, let me tell you, because the best I can do is I can just get the insulation pieces, where well, there it is, uh, tightly against each of the hooks. And the hooks themselves don't get hot when the hot water's running through, so I'm going to assume that the hooks provide some sort of insulation for it. But I got it tightly around the pipe, which is very good. And you can see there's a couple of sections I didn't do yet because um, this is three quarter inch pipe, okay? But those white fittings at the T's and the elbows, that's one inch. So the only thing I can do is if you look down at the area rug, I have pre-made one inch T and elbow fittings and then the rest is three quarter inch. And it's the only way I can get that to work correctly. So I'm still trying to measure those correctly. And you can see I got one of the fittings on right there. Again, they're all tightly together, so I'm pretty sure it's okay. Like I said, this took a lot of measuring and everything going up and down the ladder, but hey, uh, that's one of the joys of being handy, huh? Just one of the things you gotta live with. I did this very good. You can see that there's a large fitting here before the pipe, and the same thing here, but I, I used a one inch insulation here and used three quarter inch for the rest, and that came out beautifully. Um, a lot of the hot water pipe is inside the insulation in the, in the ceiling. I'm not gonna mess with the insulation, obviously, but also I'm pretty sure that provides some insulation for the hot water line. So I think that's gonna be okay. So yeah, there's just a couple of sections I still have to do here, but for the most part, I got a ton of it done and it's come out great. I'm very happy with the results. Looks like over there I gotta do too. And uh, like over here as well. You get the basic idea. Mm -hmm. Like I said, dehumidifier is doing great. I, I emptied the pan this morning. Actually, no, I emptied it yesterday, excuse me. And, um, and it's been running since. So it's uh, doing very well. And yes, over here is um, the, uh, where he tapped into the uh, PEX lines for that, ho for that hose uh, spigot. Uh, you can see he tapped in right here. Uh, this is a shutoff valve for the winter. Goes up here and right out there. You see that? And like I said, that hole was already drilled, but either they forgot about it or they ignored it. So they just put the stone over it. But the guy drilled right through, ran the line through, and connected the hose thing. And it's working beautifully. So, and like I said, that cost wasn't on my parents. So that's very good. And one of the things I do like that he did was... Um, uh, while this was apart and cut, he actually made the all the valves face forward now. Like, this was originally to the side, but now it faces forward, which I'm very happy about, because I think that's a much better way to have the valves. And you can see it just tees off right there. Let me get a shot of backwards, uh, a, a far shot of that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's all good and done. And, oh yes, for those of you uh, wondering, uh, here's the other traffic light, the one that I got from uh, the county road. You can see I have it all apart. Um... You know, I, I took all five sections apart, put them here for the time being, and, you know, to be worked on in the future. So here it is, safely at the house. It got here very easily. And Jay, there's the uh, work zone thing you got for me. Okay, so we got that. Um, anything else down here? Chances are I'll forget something, but, you know, I can always make that up in a future video. 
but yeah, so everything's okay for the most part down here. Nothing really, nothing's really changed um, back here or uh, with the air handler. Nothing, no changes there. So, all right, let's head back to let's head back upstairs, and we'll go to the second floor this time. Shut those lights off. Okay. All right, let's head upstairs. All right, we'll save we'll save my room for last. Um, in this guest room here, we just got the area rug. So far, we installed. Oh, first, let me just go back a little bit so you can get an idea of where we are. There's the uh, curved stairs, and here's one of those guest rooms, the front one. Area rug is right there, and that's about it. Not much else for the time being, but definitely does make a difference in here. That's for sure. Um, the Jack and Jill bathroom has uh, these orange rugs which are pretty fancy, and same in this part of it here, too. Yep, just right there. All right. Um, not much has changed in this room. Um, not much is gonna be in this room back here. Uh, we just have these um, curtains installed for that, but um, not much else. This might be, end up being my mom's sewing room, something like that. So, that's pretty cool. Okay. And uh, playroom, not much has changed for the moment, but eventually we are going to have um, cabinetry installed in here, you know, a couple of tables, area rug, but for now it's still just a totally empty room. Oh, and yes, I remember when I was making the video of the, uh, of the uh, tub? Um, I told you crown molding was being installed. Uh, here it is. Um, past this beam is where the crown molding was. That came with the house, but this was added on. And you can see it came out great. Nice glossy white color. And one of the other things the painter did is, if you remember, this attic hatch used to be the same color as the, as the ceiling, like kind of an off-white, but you know, I asked if he could, um, if he could just paint this gloss white because it, I think it goes better with this hatch matching the doors. You know, just have it finishes it off and makes it look. Um, like I said, the entire thing used to be the same color as the ceiling, but changing it to that glossy white, I think, was a good thing to do because it matches the doors. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention before. Um, this this light fixture over the stairs is going to be replaced. Some of you may remember that. Um, it's that chandelier thing I kind of walked over, like right there when I showed you the piano. <laughs> and uh, my mom is also gonna replace, or have the electricity, she, she, she's gonna replace these light fixtures in the hallway and um, make them recessed lighting, the six inch recessed lighting. I was kind of upset about that because, you know, the way that these lights stick down, um, it helps project the light all around instead of just not down. But, you know, my mom says the light fixtures don't really fit with the rest of the house and there aren't many places that have it, so. I can see what she means by that, but um, we'll have the larger recessed lighting and floodlights, so it should be okay. And you know, the videos, there's obviously no way to do a comparison of that, but when it goes in, I'll see if I can get a video of that for you. Uh, let's see, and in this room, uh, no major changes in this room. Um, everything's still pretty much the way you saw it last time. Uh, we just, we, um, this room has rugs, uh, this bathroom now has rugs too. As you can see, this is the one with the window. Oh, actually, I missed the other uh, bathroom. Let me go over to that one. Okay. Um, this one, I think, has green rugs. Yep. Very interesting shade of green. Mm-hmm. Yep, just like that. Cool stuff. Okay. And now let's go to my room. Definitely a lot more stuff in here since last time. Um, you can see I have two night tables now with lamps on them. And I have been putting some stuff on my walls, as you can see. There's a couple of family pictures. There's that. There's a Boston picture, and you may remember that dead end sign. Um, I figure that fits the best right over the door to the bathroom because that is the dead end. You walk through the door, all you can do is come back out, unless you, you know, jump through the window, but I certainly do not recommend that. <laughs> um, yep, so that goes up there. Um, I'll eventually, um, I'll eventually have this flag over here, um, right here, hang or just put on the wall over the bed. I think that's a good spot to put it. And here's my new TV on the wall. My brother and I 
put this on the wall um, uh, last week. Yeah, la last Thursday to be exact. And here's just some of the stuff, uh, just Lucy for the time being. I'm going to have some furniture built along here, so that'll be another update to see for uh, for next time. But yeah, this uh, TV is uh, anchored nicely to a stud in the wall, just like that. And here's like a couple of other pictures. I don't... I think the only time you ever saw these pictures was when I did a, when it was when I did the LIE house video uh, nine years ago. So it's uh, definitely been a while uh, since then, and just some things up there. And you can see the guys working uh, through my window. Okay, and um, yeah. oh yeah, and here's the here's the traffic light you see in all my videos. So that got here safely, nicely, and um, I'm not going to put this up until all the furniture is done in here. I'm thinking about putting it on this wall right here because there's an outlet right down there and there's a stud right there somewhere. So I'm thinking of putting it somewhere on this wall because it's not in anybody's way and no one's really going to walk there that often. So I think it's the best place to put it and I'll go with some of the stuff that's already on the wall here. Like I said, like, you know, I have that picture to put up, a couple of other things, but, you know, one thing at a time. But the room's definitely coming together and looks uh, very nice now. Okay, and in the bathroom, just more rugs. Um... Uh, nice blue rugs for me because I love blue. So, um, yeah, that's a very nice shade of blue. Very dark. I don't know if the video is doing that justice, but it's um, it's a very nice shade of blue. And there's one there for the sink that I use. And the other for the other sink that doesn't really get that much use, but, you know, it's good to have it finished off. We'll eventually get a rug for here in front of the tub. The only problem was this this color didn't come in a size that would fit here, so... We'll have to think of something else, but we'll eventually figure something out. And uh, nothing's changed in there. So, still got that notice up there, of course. And eventually, I might have something else up there. Who knows? Okay, guys, and that's basically all the house updates for now. Things are really coming together here and looking very good. So, uh, definitely starting to feel like a home, which is nice. And, um, and things are coming along well here, right? So... There's your update video, and as usual, guys, thank you very much for watching, and take care.